feeling I've been here before. Sorry, we're closed. Olasha, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There, there's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to... So you tell us that the SI has the address of this salon and you come anyway. Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here? I came to get Richard. Do you know where I can find him? Probably in the basement packing up, like everyone else. But I guess with your little memory issues, you wouldn't remember where it is. Don't provoke me. Now's not the time. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right. Especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes. A thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the SI much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. Did you destroy the client files? Yes, it's done. Accounting? Uh, yeah. It's all taken care of. I've just got the suppliers and the VIP files left to do. All right. I'm gonna need a badge for the basement, too. Mm, I don't have one, sorry. So, what do we do now? How the hell should I know? We could break down the door to get her out. We don't have the equipment for that. I could ask Dr. Dunham if... No way. We'll figure something out. When is Wyatt supposed to be back? He shouldn't be long now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on such a priceless vessel. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll see what I can do. Roger that. Oh, Vaisha. I didn't expect to see you here. Sorry, I don't know you. Oh, that's right. I should have known. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham. Sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never gonna be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds. So he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda, or in his examining room in the basement. You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done.
why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. Or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room, and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead. And clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine. All right. There's a pass on the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Come on! You've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is... is that you, Betty? No. It's Laisha. Listen, you need to get yourself somewhere secure. It's not safe for you here anymore. All you want is my blood. I won't come out. Richard's grand idea, injecting substances to simulate the vessel's humors. There. Now nobody can use it. A storage room, huh? Richard's injections. He doesn't want the wrong people to find them.
only she'd calm down. to send some Trajaxon to the injection room using the pneumatic tube system. Must be how they supply the Trajacks into the injection room. A pneumatic tube system that connects with the basement, it looks like. Sorry, but I don't have the time. If the SI get here, we're screwed. I won't come out. There's gotta be something that will make her come out. Oh, if only 
wish you'd calm down. She'd calm down. I feel like I'm completely at peace, at last. Yeah, yeah, great. Now go join the others. Now! Yes, I... You're right. We almost left without you, but I... No buts. Go join the others on the double. Yes? Are you in charge of the vessels? Yes and no. I'm just in charge of moving them. Name's Wyatt. Laisha. I know, I know. I'm gonna make a few more trips, but there's still one missing. I think Betty's having a hard time getting her to come out. Where are you taking them? I'm getting them to safety. Some of them are worth tons. Okay, but before you leave, Beryl wants to see you. What? No way! He's not gonna like that. I know, but I've got more pressing matters with the SI breathing down our necks. All right, come along. I've got my eye on you. It's not much further.
Oh, it's you. I've got a lot of work to do. Please excuse me. I get that you're busy, but... But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Wyatt isn't coming to help. He didn't obey? What exactly did he say? He wasn't thrilled with the job you gave him. A thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. Wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here now! What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the council. What I do is no business of yours. The SI is breathing down our necks, so this concerns all of us. You think I'm not aware of that, perhaps? Then stop making us take risks just out of pride. I'm going to choose to ignore your last remark and work on finding a solution. I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? Must be something serious. I can sense your fear, Beryl. Why it flakes out on me with the SI hot on our heels, having to cover our tracks. Of course I'm a bit perturbed. So then why don't you want to tell me anything? I'm thinking it over. Now's not the time to turn down a helping hand. If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. Yes, of course. I'll spare you the list of consequences if you break your word. I can imagine. But I still think it's a bad idea. You're not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. If I let you help me, it could make matters worse. So stay out of it. Do you understand? Why do you need Wyatt, if it's something so easy you can do it yourself? I didn't say it was easy. I need to find a solution and... But you haven't found one yet. For now. But you need to give me time to think. You're incapable of trusting anyone. And you're one to talk about stability? Yes, of course. Especially if that anyone has an imaginary ch-
I get that you're busy, but... But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Wyatt isn't coming to help. He didn't obey? What exactly did he say? He wasn't thrilled with the job you gave him. A thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. Wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here now! What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the council. What I do is no business of yours. The SI is breathing down our necks, so this concerns all of us. You think I'm not aware of that, perhaps? Then stop making us take risks just out of pride. I'm going to choose to ignore your last remark and work on finding a solution. I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? It must be something serious. I can sense your fear, Beryl. Why it flakes out on me with the SI hot on our heels having to cover our tracks. Of course I'm a bit perturbed. So then why don't you want to tell me anything? I'm thinking it over. Now's not the time to turn down a helping hand. If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. Yes, of course. I'll spare you the list of consequences if you break your word. <laughs> Why don't we ask Richard for help? Oh, the more the merrier. No thank you. But he could... Do nothing at all. I already have enough problems with you.
I've been here before. I'm sure of it. Richard says that madness isn't an illness. Remind me of something. Richard must not be far. Note for patient one's case file. The treatment is following its course with continued positive effects on the hallucinate. Come in. Some chemicals have just arrived for you, Dr. Dunham. Great. Put them here. You may leave now. for patient ones. Note for patient ones case file. layer of security.
Whoa. What the... A lab? Shit. It's the SI. We've got to get the fuck out of here. goes back a ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where? This hallway. Wait! What the? Wait! Come back! Oh, <gasps> 
true. She's not real. It's all in my head. If she wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you. I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true, then tell me. Who are you looking for? I don't know what you want from me. Help me, please. All I want is to get my daughter back. But your daughter died ages ago. You'll never get her back. Ugh! You're confusing me. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. There's no point in trying to force my hand. I'm you. It's useless. You're like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please, give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Uh, I think... <laughs> yes? Uh, I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It it's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? Uh, I, I always thought he was my sire. But he isn't. Is he Halsey's sire? Yes, it's coming back to you. You're making progress. I have one last question for you. You can take your time with this one. Who is Halsey? I'm afraid I might be wrong. I, I found a file on one of Richard's patients. She was Juliet, wasn't she? That's right. You remembered. That's good. Our name was Marie. We were born in 1911 in France. Do you remember? Our parents worked at an explosives factory. That is Shananine. That's right. Since they were too poor to pay someone to watch me, they put me in a locker during their shift. There was an accident. It took both their lives. It took them 10 days to find me in the rubble. We stopped talking after that. They took me to the asylum. Yes, that's where we first met Richard. He was the night psychiatrist. I thought we'd never get out of there. They kept us locked up for 10 years. <laughs> Do you remember his look when we found out we were pregnant with Juliet? <laughs> I named her Juliet after her grandmother. It's a lot prettier than Halsey. I never understood why Richard called her that in her file. I wonder if he knew who the father was. We were forced to flee. 
Yes, in 39, when the war broke out in France. Do you remember? The Nazis came for psychiatric patients too. We could, we found a ship that could take us to Boston. But Juliet caught typhus on the way over. That was all we could think about. Richard couldn't do anything for us. He had to embrace her in order to save her. He thought it would calm us down. No, that's not true. But Juliet's hunger was overpowering. When we went to soothe her, she drained us of our blood. I was on death's door. Richard didn't want to lose us. He slit Juliet's wrist so we could drink. He saved my life. No, Marie. We died that night. And we became the child of our dead daughter. He said he wanted to help me. He uses us as a guinea pig for all of his experiments. When it goes wrong, he wipes our memory and makes us forget everything. We slumber for a few years and then reappear court as if nothing happened. I trusted him. He's always used us, but now you know it. Again, come on. Let's go save Juliet. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. Shit, damn it! What the hell was that? Shit. Not Cassie. Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters, too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but... Calm the fuck down! You would have done it, too. Any one of us would. Cassie... Shit. Richard. Halsey. Where are they taking her? What the fuck is that? Steam. That steam leak. Maybe that could help. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's all right. All right, I'll take care of this office. Anything of interest here? Unintelligible documents. I think it's like they were doing some kind of ritual. I'll go inspect another room. Okay.
conscious.